In exploring the biblical perspective on how humans should dominate the earth, it's essential to delve into the foundational texts of Christianity, primarily the Old Testament, where the concept of dominion is first introduced. The book of Genesis provides the framework for understanding humanity's relationship with the earth and its inhabitants. Genesis 1 28 states, Then God said, Let us make mankind in our image, in our likeness, so that they may rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky, over the livestock and all the wild animals, and over all the creatures that move along the ground. So God created mankind in his own image. In the image of God, he created them. Male and female, he created them. God blessed them and said to them, Be fruitful and increase in number. Fill the earth and subdue it. Rule over the fish in the sea and the birds in the sky and over every living creature that moves on the ground. This passage lays out several key aspects of human dominion over the earth. Number one, creation in God's image. Human dominion is grounded in the fact that humans are created in the image and likeness of God. This divine image sets humanity apart from the rest of creation and imbues humans with a special responsibility towards the earth and its creatures. Number two, rule and dominion. God grants humanity the authority to rule over the earth and all its inhabitants. This dominion implies stewardship rather than exploitation. It's a call to exercise responsible care and governance over creation, ensuring its flourishing and sustainability. Number three, be fruitful and multiply. This command signifies not only the propagation of the human race, but also the idea of filling the earth with God's image bearers who will continue the task of responsible stewardship. Number four, subdue and rule. The terms subdue and rule imply a form of control, but it's essential to understand these in the EEE context of responsible stewardship rather than unchecked exploitation. Humans are called to manage the Earth's resources wisely, utilizing them for the benefit of all creation while respecting their intrinsic value and interconnectedness. The idea of dominion in Genesis reflects a relational approach to the Earth rather than a dominative one. It's about partnership with God in the ongoing work of creation, preservation, and redemption. This understanding of dominion is echoed throughout the Bible, where humans are called to exercise their authority with humility, wisdom, and reverence for God's creation. In the Old Testament, numerous laws and regulations are given to guide Israel in their interactions with the land, animals, and natural resources. For example, the sabbatical year and the year of Jubilee, Leviticus 25, were instituted to ensure the rest and restoration of the land, prevent exploitation, and promote socioeconomic justice. Prophetic voices like Isaiah, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel often rebuke Israel for their failure to uphold their covenant responsibilities towards the land and its inhabitants. They warn of the consequences of environmental degradation, social injustice, and idolatry. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ embodies the perfect image of stewardship and dominion. He demonstrates compassion towards all living beings, heals the sick, feeds the hungry, and teaches about this interconnectedness of creation. His parables often draw on agricultural imagery, highlighting the importance of sowing seeds of righteousness and bearing fruit for God's kingdom. Jesus' teachings on love, humility, and servanthood provide a model for how humans should exercise dominion. Instead of lording over others, true leadership involves self-sacrifice, service, and a willingness to lay down one's life for the sake of others. The Apostle Paul extends this ethic of stewardship to the early Christian communities, urging them to live in harmony with one another and with creation. In his letter to the Romans, Paul speaks of creation eagerly awaiting its liberation from bondage and decay, a liberation that will come through the redemption of humanity, Romans 8, 18, 25. Also, earth is a living thing that can swallow diseases and issues, but also give you wealth, gold, and other things. God gave us dominion on earth, Throughout Christian history, theologians have grappled with the biblical mandate of dominion, seeking to interpret it in light of contemporary ecological and ethical concerns. In conclusion, the biblical concept of dominion calls humans to exercise responsible stewardship over the earth and its inhabitants. It is a call to partnership with God in the ongoing work of creation, preservation, and redemption. This stewardship involves humility, wisdom, and reverence for God's creation recognizing the intrinsic value and interconnectedness of all living beings. As image bearers of God, humans are called to reflect God's love, compassion, and justice in their interactions with the earth and its creatures, working towards the flourishing of all life 
and the realization of God's kingdom on earth.